So this is uh, part four on our improving our blues series. And in this particular episode, what we're going to do is something actually very simple, um, which is we're just going to add a couple of things. Now, when I say we're going to add a couple of things, we're effectively going to reinstate a couple of things. We're going to reinstate, um, well, I'll say that again. We're going to reinstate one thing, which was our D7. We're going to play A, D7, A7. Okay, then we're going to play D7. I'm going to bring another chord here, which is a diminished chord. A D sharp diminished. Okay, the rest of the sequence will be the same. So I'll just give you that again. A, two, Over the D7, as we know, we're going to be playing A minor. Yeah, D7, D9, uh, D11, D13, if we like. Okay, all of those things will fit. And then over the D sharp diminished. going to fit very nicely. Now I'm going to talk more about that diminished uh, approach in, a, in another video to follow but uh, the thing I want to concentrate for this video is uh, a really really crucial thing and it's it just brings your playing on that little bit further. Now I'm going to play a little line which um, Mark Knopfler plays in a song called Sultans of Swing and it's this line. <laughs> So it's in the middle of the verse. Okay, now, what do you think the significance of that line might be? Well, what you tend to find is when, when guitar players first start playing changes, what they'll do is they'll play a line up to the end of the chord that they're phrasing over. So they'll say, right, I'm going to play A7, and then I'm going to stop. And then when the D7 comes on, I'm going to play D7. And that's great. And that's that's where we've got to, we hope. So, okay. What's important about this line is that this is over A7. Still A7. D minor. So in other words, it takes us from one chord to another. He's playing a change. Okay, and that's our next little thing we need to do because we've got this D7 in the second bar. We really need to make our reference to the D7 part of the phrase which is in A, or at least a continuation of it, I should say. So, there's a D7. Again there, if we can, it's nice to tag that to the next change that we're playing. So I'll play that again or something very much like it. Yeah, you can hear it's stepped in from one harmony into the next, back out of that and into the next. So that's the thing I want you to really be concentrating on is playing your phrases so rather than playing from the beginning of a bar and then stopping before the next change i want you to think more as if you're you're linking those bars together so you just alter where you play your phrases slightly and it's massively effective so for example let's suppose i'm playing the d7 <laughs> So what I've done there, I played round D, uh, the A minor. There's my, or even my. Okay, and again, little bit of minor to our major, just to stop it sounding too. You don't want that. Okay, so that's our D seven 
going back to R8. So again, you can you can take these out of the uh, context of the whole sequence and just play them on their own. Say, I want to get from D7 to A7. How am I going to do that? Yeah, that'd be one way of doing it. Okay. Now, once you've got that change from major to minor or vice versa, then that allows you to navigate all of the changes that we're dealing with so far, doesn't it? Because when we come out of the A, we go back to the minor. This is, sorry, this is our third line. So, okay, so here's me coming out of my A major. into major and then I'm back round again so you can actually get these so there's a quite nice um, you know fluent flavor of... so forth it doesn't have to be mechanical but it's like anything if you don't want something to be mechanical you do have to work at it a bit okay i think it was um the tennis player fred perry said he said it's funny the the more i practice the luckier i get um it is a great a great uh, way of looking at it and i think really you know it's it's so worthwhile just to put some time into some of this playing because it really does bring it to life anyway okay well that's it for this particular uh, episode on improving your blues so i hope you've enjoyed that there's a couple of things to get your head around and uh, i'll be talking a little bit more about that that diminished chord in the next episode anyway bye for now thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe thank you <laughs>